A lot of people would love to own a caravan but simply don't want to spend the money on a brand new model. But they could buy a pre-owned one and the question is, what don't you get in an older model that you'd find in the very latest ones? Well, I'm going to take you over to this model here, which would you believe is six years old. How does it differ from the new ones from Swift? Well, to the untrained eye, it's much the same, although you could notice that there isn't one of these big windows here. So what about the towing features? Let's check those and see if they differ as well. Well, not a lot in some ways. Jockey wheel, brake, stabiliser coupling. And then I noticed that this was the last of the years when you had twin plug arrangements. You might have a car that's got a single socket. Does it matter? Not at all. Go to the dealer and get an adapter. What about the fairing? Well, this one's a fragile one because Swift weren't building it so you could stand on it until perhaps the last two or three years. So you won't be able to stand on this one like you can the latest ones to clean those flies from above the window. So what material is used on the side? Oh, the tried and tested pre-coated aluminium. Some of the latest vans actually have a fiberglass sheet. But does that matter? Is that so crucial? Well, they say that any little dings where stones fly up um, leave marks on aluminium. They're hard to repair. Well, even with my magnifying glass, I've been over this and I can't see any problems anywhere. Let's turn our attention now down to the wheels. I see this has got an alloy wheel. Great, there was a time when they were only fitted on the top of the range models. What about inside? Goodness, it's in fine condition for a van that's six years old. Now it's a five berth with three at the back, also two beds at the front. In the kitchen, it's a familiar sight. This hob is just like so many, even today. Three burners and an electric hot plate. There's a grill, there's an oven, there's a Thetford fridge. Oh, and look, a microwave. Something which you usen't to see in perhaps fans that were eight years old. One thing that will be different, I see, is that the smoke alarm, which has just come off to have its batteries fitted, isn't partnered by a carbon monoxide alarm. These are now obligatory in the very latest caravans. And if you want, you can go out and buy them and fit one yourself. The front is especially light thanks to the hecky roof light above in the ceiling and the good three big windows across the front, the quality of the upholstery, the knee roll on the base, all of it adds to comfort and pleasant living. One big difference between the latest caravans and caravans of this period is the lighting. For instance, here's a fluorescent light. You don't see those so often now. And the reading lights are halogens. Halogens are okay, they have a bright light, but they get hot and they take a lot of electricity. They say that one halogen takes the same amount of electricity as eight similar style LED lights. Is that a problem? Not really. You can go out and you can buy replacements. There's everything you could want in the washroom. I particularly like the shower, which is situated in a cylinder all of its own. The toilet is a familiar one fitted today. And then there's a very tidy, neat little hand basin. When it comes to keeping warm, some of the latest caravans have radiator systems. Others don't have appliances that take up wall space. The item is under the floor and it's just the ducts that you see sending the air around. Then there are the lovely touch screens with little pictures that you press to get it all into operation. Not in a caravan that says six years old. This one has a Truma wall-mounted ultra-heat stove. Ah, oh, my word, they're good. Very efficient, run on gas. They also run on mains electricity. And the heat is sent into the van here, but it's also sent through pipes all the way around and it's ducted to the far corners of the caravan. So we've looked closely at a caravan that's six years old. How different is it from one of the latest models? Frankly, very little. All right, there's less electronic touch screens. The lighting is a little different, but the bathroom, perfect. The kitchen, much the same. The comfort of the upholstery, 
magnificent. As regards price, the insurance assessment is £9,600. Of course, you might not see it sold at that on the forecourt, but it's a huge difference between that and the price of a new one. If the new one was twice as expensive, would you sleep at night with twice as big a smile? I sincerely doubt it.